What's good, sports fans? My name is Damian Adams from The Real Deal with Damian Adams and the Third and Three Podcast. When you get finished watching this video, please go ahead and subscribe to those podcasts wherever you listen to podcasts. And go to fantasydata.com. Use promo code REAL411 to get 25% off. Get yourself ready for fantasy basketball and fantasy baseball as baseball season is right around the corner. So today I came to you to react to my New Orleans Pelicans losing to the Minnesota Timberwolves by 30 points. It's, I'm a little embarrassed to wear this gear right now when I say that sentence because I don't think you understand how bad the Minnesota Timberwolves are. Right, you see a record on the screen, but they suck. Like, just absolutely stink. They're bad on offense, bad on defense. If they were a football team, they'd be bad on special teams. Like, that's how bad the Minnesota Timberwolves are. And the Pelicans have way too much talent to go out there and lose by 30 to the Minnesota Timberwolves? 30. And you see that score, you're probably thinking, man, Carl Anthony Towns probably went off. He went crazy. Nope. Didn't. Very sane game from him. It wasn't anything crazy. He was very much in his mind today. It was the bench. Players you never heard of, right? Going crazy against us, right? When you see these names on the bottom of the screen, these are the type of players who will end up on that game. They play on TNT with Chuck, who he played for. And Chuck has no idea because these guys are on the bench for the worst teams in the league. These are the players in that game that Chuck has no idea who they play for. And that's who we're giving career days to. What can't be tired, first game after the All-Star break, at one point in the first quarter, we were up by 16 points. And we lost by 30. Now, sometimes you're gonna have a bad offensive game, right? But the things they were doing weren't super complex. They played a 2-3 zone. You're professional basketball players. You should know what to do against a 2-3 zone. On offense, when they had the starters in, they were running a side pick and roll. Courtney Towns, whoever the guard was at the time, pick and pop, make you decide. It wasn't super complex, but you can see throughout the game Stan Van Gundy just getting severely outcoached. What are you doing, Stan? If we're going to be this bad on defense, why did we hire you? Why are you here? You're not making any improvements to the team. Now, I was just on a podcast maybe a week ago, and I tried to give Stan the benefit of the doubt. You guys have been here this long. We had a really short off season. It's been a weird year and some change now short training camp. He hasn't had time to implement his system. But what I see and what I saw tonight, lack of effort, not rotating, players just not knowing what to do on defense. And you just have to look at the coaching. We have good individual defenders. Lonzo can defend. Brandon Ingram should be able to defend. Josh Hart can defend. But as a team, we suck on defense. It makes no sense. Now, we have some young players that are going to struggle on that side of the ball. Zion's going to struggle on defense from time to time, right? Kira Lewis is a rookie, right? Nikhil Alexander Walker is young. But you have anchors there like Steven Adams to tell them where to go. Shouldn't be this bad. I just don't get it. And if things don't improve, why keep staying? Right? If we go through the rest of this season playing this bad, losing to the Minnesota Timberwolves by 30 points, what's the point? Now, I said that we should have hired Becky Hammond. And people was like, they're not going to listen to no woman. She's not going to be able to get them to play no defense. Stan not getting to play no defense. But that's what we went with. Oh, we, we got to go with a veteran head coach for the young team. We've seen his movies already. We know how it ends. And now it looks like this time we're skipping right to the end where they're already zoning him out. You understand how bad it is to lose to the Timberwolves by 30? 
the Timberwolves. Yeah, man. As you can see, I am just disgusted with this team right now, man. We play Cleveland tomorrow. We got a chance to bounce back right away. Hopefully, we do. Right? But Cleveland's another team that you can't take lightly. They got talent. And hopefully, we go out there tomorrow and really ball out. But right now, man, I can't help but just feel sick to my stomach watching a performance like that. But hopefully, we get better. Just had to come out here and vent a little bit. Right? But until next time, go real or go home.